What's up everybody? Welcome back to the garage. My name is Brandon Thrasher and today we're taking my final take is going to be on this guy right here. This is the Grambo Knives Russ. This is a beautiful full size knife thumb stud opening or front flipper. Works both ways. Awesome, awesome blade. Let's get into the specs real quick. The overall length of this knife is 8.25 inches. The blade length is three and a half inches. Closed length, 4.8 inches. It weighs 4.8 ounces. It is full titanium, M390. Runs on ceramic cage ball bearings. It is a 3.9 millimeter hollow grind. It is a thumb stud knife and it is OEM'd by Best Tech Knives. Now, again, this is another knife from Grambo Knives. It had a pre-order. The pre-order is closed by the time I'm getting this knife. However, look for the drop on this knife, and there are more coming. So, right off the bat, when I seen this blade, I thought that uh, um, I thought of another designer, and I and it's and it's because of this right here, right? Just this section right here, which which you know. A lot of a lot of knife designs have have that, you know, but it it you see it uh, that's hard to explain. Anyway, uh, I, I thought of another knife designer, but it's not. It's this is their design, which I can kind of tell it's not because of the rest of the aesthetic here. So what you have here, like I said, full titanium, it is a frame lock, or not a frame lock, sorry. Ugh, it is a liner lock, a titanium inset liner lock, which is cool because it's all titanium, right? So that's awesome. So you got this cool micro milling kind of in a bolstered area where the frame lock would be, um, which is kind of cool as well. It gives it a different look, a different thing about it. The clip is lowered and kind of odd is what you think, but it actually goes in and out of pocket extremely well. I love the hardware, two screws, which are, are big, but I love them that they're the hollow uh, pivot and the hollow uh, just hardware uh, the action is phenomenal thumb stud works excellent top flipper is decent not as good as the other grambos but it's not made to be a top flipper it's made to be a thumb stud the grind and the uh, stone wash on the blade is beautiful the swedge is beautiful this uh, flat right here makes it look great. Kind of that drop point for sure. Um, yeah, pretty freaking amazing knife, really, when you when you think about it, right? And it's big. It's a it's a full size. It it fits my hand wonderfully. Uh, no hot spots. Everything's champered. Um, I, looking at it, closed. It's got a nice, nice. Well, it is a neutral ergonomics. Ergonomics. That's not even a word. Neutral ergonomics to the handle because of the way the handle sways. Um, this part looks a little weird, like it was gonna be a flipper at some point in time. But when you put it together like that, then it looks amazing really uh there is milling on the inside it's pretty minor it's only to to the top section um does drop down and then and then of course that's on lock side and then you got pretty big milling in there which is pretty fantabulous really um which gets your knife down to the weight that it is which is not extremely light but not extremely heavy either So basically, this is one of my favorite knives right now. Um, Ergo-wise, I love this thing. 
I, she could choke up to this kind of flat right here easily without doing any damage. I, I feel like the plunge grind is good, but the the choil could be better. The, the, the sharpening choil. I feel like the sharpening choil needed to go up more. Um, you're going to get a smile here fairly quick. There's not much there because of that. I think that the only downfall I could really find, everything is beautifully chamfered, no sharp edges. There was no hot spots. It sits in the hand great. This is ergonomically for the thumb awesome and a, and a reverse grip. And the, uh, the hammer grip is great. The saber grip, I mean... Um, hey, Grandma knives coming in hot, guys. Not gonna lie. Um, oh, that's that's it. That's it. So every time I see something like this, where you got jumping and then a little like drop, a ramp, if per se, I think of Les George. Right? Um, reminds me of Les George design knives. Uh, I have a Spartan Aster. It does the same thing. Almost every Les George knife I've seen does that. Um, so it instantly reminded me of that. Like all the other Grambo knives, this is the only billboarding right here. There is nothing on the blade. It's completely sterile, completely clean. There's nothing anywhere else. I'm really digging that about them. Uh, the thumb stud works fantabulous as a thumb stud, right? It's got nice acoustics. Problem is, if you're a middle finger flicker, yeah, you can do it, but it is not easy at all, man. I don't suggest it. The problem is you have zero room there. It It's almost against it. It does not sit taller. It does not sit proud at all. You have to be squeezed in between. You cannot do it from this point. Um, even lefty, even lefty, it's not easy. Like, it's, it's more doable, but not by much, literally. Um, and it kind of hurts to do it. It definitely kind of hurts to do it right-handed, uh, but it is doable. Uh, the thumb part, though, fantastic. Like, perfect on the detent. It's super tough, which is what I like. And it just snaps. Bam! I mean, that's putting nothing on it. I could put something on it, right? It just fires out of there, man. All in all, I'm 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 kind of mad that I didn't know about these knives before I got them. All right, well, at least before the pre-order, I I would have definitely tried to get in on the Assetto with the with the uh, with the Micarta, and I definitely would have tried to get in on this one. I I really enjoying this knife. Um, I really like it. I think it's it's pretty fantastic. And uh, not so much front flipper. You can do it. It's not hard. Um, but that thumb stud, man. That's fire on this knife. Amazing knives coming from Grambo Knives, guys. They're coming in hot. Their best tech is just destroying the OEM market right now. Their OEM is just fantastic. Um, you, you can't go wrong. You, you honestly can't go wrong with a best tech OEM in your knives right now. Uh, I think they're just, they're doing a fantastic job. Their fit and finish is amazing. Uh, the detents have been amazing. The action is amazing. Um, best tech's knocking this stuff out of the park. Grambo knives designs are on fire right now. Amazing. Um, anyway, that's my final take on the Russ. Uh, I'll link Grambo Knives in the description below. Feel free to go check them out. They, like, like I said, the pre-order is closed on these, unfortunately. But they will be dropping. And, of course, they always have extras. Any pre-order always has extras. Keep your eye out for the extras. Because, honestly, guys, this knife is $250. Titanium M390 with... I mean... That's a 300, easily 300 plus dollar knife. 250 bucks on the pre-order. So, I think it's a pretty fantastic deal. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you're having a crazy, a crazy great week, crazy great weekend, whatever it is you're doing out there. 
Wait, I didn't even show you guys. Man, I'm cutting it all short, ain't I? Thrasher, we want to see a ride in a pocket. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. We're on the way. By the way, it goes in and out of pocket like a dream. It is not deep carry, but it does not bother me. Um, I carried it for some time. It was good. Thrasher, we want to see it cut something. Well, it's probably not the sharpest thing in the world. It is sharp. It cut me if, if I goof around. Um, okay, it might be sharper than the other two. I just am sucking lately at cutting paper, man. Yeah. It's not the sharpest. It is sharp enough to hurt yourself. Uh, is it sharp enough to shave? No, it's just breaking hair. But it, it's sharp enough you can cut yourself, that's for sure. Um, as I said, with the other grandma knives that I had, I am definitely not the first person to have this in. This is not how it is out of the box. Um, this is just how it is when it got to me. These are prototyped, and they've been through some hands already before coming to me. Ah, see? See? Goof around, almost cut myself. Anyway, guys, get out there. Do something positive for yourself. Do something positive for somebody else. Make yourself happy by making somebody else happy. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.